And Brock the Yahawa, Brockata, Yao Sha, Brock the Yahawa, Brockata, Yao Sha, Bashir, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth. And in sincerity, this lesson will be entitled The Remnant Out of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah's Division. Isaiah 1 and 9, except the Lord Yahweh of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. All right, the remnant, also known as the elect. Okay, and when we focus on remnant, according to the Hebrew, Strong's H 8300 pronounced as Shar Yad, Shar Yad, which means what? Survivor, that which is left. Okay, so remnant means what? Survivors, and that which is left, left out of what? The second death, saved from the second coming of Yahusha. All right. When we focus on remnant, according to the etymon, it means remaining part or quality that which is left or remains. Okay. And remnant goes into the origin of. Remain, right? Which means what? Be left after the removal or loss of a part, number, or quality survive. So, once Yahweh brings, okay, the second death, all right, on behalf of Yahweh, the ones that will be left are the what? Remnant, the elect of Israel. After the removal or loss of a part, and the removal or loss of a part is what? The non-elect. And on this side, two-thirds, okay? Be left after the removal or loss of a part, number or quality. The quality referring to the remnant, the survivors, the ones that are left because they have been saved, because they have been predestined by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. From the second death or the second coming of Yahweh Shah. Survive, all right? And by default, the remnant will survive, okay? No matter where they at, throughout the four corners of the world, okay? When we think about that term division, right? Same source. Division goes into the origin of divide, which means what? <clears throat> Separate into parts or pieces. All right. So the elect will be separated from the non-elect. Okay. Through the act of judgment. All right. Separate into parts or pieces. Right. So let's get a visual. Right. All right, let's focus on the second example. Here you have 18 divided by 3, which is what? 6. Okay, now from a symbolic meaning, right? The 18 will be symbolic for the non-elect for this lesson and the other nations beginning with Esau, right? Being divided by Three and that three will be what symbolic for judgment. Now, once um, the non-elect and these other nations, beginning with Esau, are divided by the judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, the answer on top will be the remnant, the elect, the survivors, the remainers. Okay. Let's get Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, now this is referring to America, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein, referring to who? Two thirds, also known as the non elect, 
shall be cut off and die, but the third, all right, meaning what? The one third, also known as the remnant, the survivors, all right, the remainders on top shall be left therein, okay? The remnant will be protected from the second coming of Yahweh Shah because he's bringing salvation to the remnants only, all right? Let's go into... Isaiah 10 and 21. The remnant shall return, okay? Even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. And again, remnant means what? Quality. And for remnant, according to the strong H, okay, Hebrew 7605, pronounced as uh, Shar Ad, um, Salakia, Shar, Shar R, Shar R, which means what? Rest, residue, remnant, remainder. Okay. Going into survivors. Those that will be left after post destruction. The remainders. Okay. There's another definition I was thinking about too. Let's go back to Isaiah 1 and 9. Survivor, that which is love. Okay, okay. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to Isaiah 11 and 16. And there shall be an highway symbolic for this truth for the remnant, the survivors, okay, the remainers, all right, of his people, which shall be loved from Assyria. Now, Assyria can be um, associated with Israelites in and outside of America, like as it was to Israel in that day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. All right? And Egypt is what? Modern-day America. But key point, the remnants, survivors, quality, okay? Those that are love. All right. And we want to be the remnant slash elect. All right. Um, Joel 2.32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord Yahweh have said, and in the remnant, okay, survivors, all right, the ones that are left, and in the remnant whom the Lord Yahweh shall call, all right. Romans 11 and 5, even so then at this present time, and we are in this present time now, okay? Also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace, okay? So at that time and at this time frame. But guess what? Now, this truth has been activated, all right, throughout the four corners of the world, all right? Because the remnant will be saved, also known as the elect, also known as the survivors, okay? The ones that will be separated from two-thirds of our people or from the non-elect and from these other nations going into that second death, 
being exercised by Yahweh Shai. Um, this is Romans 9 and 27. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the sons of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Last precept, Revelation 13, 11, 13. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, which is symbolic for this nuclear destruction. And the tenth part of the city fell, referring to America. And the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the Most High of heaven. Why? Because the remnant are the survivors, okay, of the second death, of the second coming of Yahweh Shai. All right? And automatically, what happens? Esau's rulership has been destroyed. Once this incident, or like it, this event occurs. So we want to be the remainders, okay, out of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's division problem. Lord will, you were edified, Shalom.